on the hunt for fugitive NSA leaker Edward Snowden. Witnesses say that Snowden never got on that flight that he was ex expected to be on out of Moscow, heading to Cuba. But when the U.S. does eventually track down Snowden, what kind of legal ramifications is he facing? Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News senior judicial analyst, joins me now. Boy. So he's had a curious uh, trail so well, far, it, it, and it we is. don't know where he is right now. We and, believe he's in Moscow. And still. it's becoming curiouser and curiouser by yeah. the countries to which he's, as KT just discussed with Bill, as the, the countries to which he's chosen right. to go and what he might be doing while he's in those countries. I think he's just trying to avoid prosecution in the United States of America. Others think he may be doing other things to harm us while we're there. I mean, who knows? We'll, we'll find out if and when he's caught and if and when they're. Uh, there is a trial. All right, so let's say he is caught and he's brought back here. He's been charged with espionage. Yes. Uh, how does that charge hold up based on what well, he's done? Well, espionage is constitutionally questionable, I'll tell you why in a minute, mm -hmm. and practically difficult for the government. It's constitutionally questionable because the Espionage Act of 1917, mm -hmm. this is a World, world War I, mm -hmm. quote, temporary law just to get us through World War I, which punishes speech speech that can harm the government has arguably been overruled by the Pentagon Papers case. Whether it's been overruled or not, a court's going to have to decide. He will be the first person to have been charged with espionage since that, uh, since that case. The other practical problem with espionage is in order for the government to prove its case, it has to prove that the defendant's words harmed the government. In the act of doing that, it often has to re reveal more secrets than the defendant very revealed, which is why these are very, very unusual yeah. prosecutions. The Pentagon Papers case opinion and the difficulty of proving espionage, however, does not relieve him of the charges of handing over classified materials to an unauthorized person. That is a charge that will stand and one that he'll have to answer for. It, you know, when you think back to what we talked about last week with regard to whether or not this program really kept America safe, when you look at the 50 examples that were put forward uh, by General Alexander, and he's, you know, laying out the case that, I mean, you have to prove that in order to prove that espionage was committed, right? That, that what he revealed actually made us more vulnerable because the program was indeed working. Yes, and, and I don't know that the government wants to do that. I mean, since General Alexander's revelations of last week, the NSA has pulled back on one of its major arguments, a case in which it turned out there was no jury trial and the guilty plea had nothing to do with what they found right. uh, from the surveillance. The stock exchange Look, situation. Snowden wants to be able to make a moral argument that he had two oaths with which to comply, his oath to keep secrets and his oath to support, protect, and defend the Constitution, and they were impatible, and he opted for the higher oath. I don't know if the court will let him make that argument. If the court does let him make that argument, then we're in an area that's away from the law and into value judgments, and what kind of value judgments can people make when they decide how to comport their lives? He will say, I revealed the greatest violation of Fourth Amendment rights by the federal government in the history of the country. The public has the right to know that the government is, is listening to all of its phone calls and capturing its emails. Well, you know, what a lot of people say, if he feels so strongly about it, there's no place better to make his case as a whistleblower than here in the United States of America. We, we have breaking news. Uh,